Hey guys, I'm Abhi and in this video we're going to talk about 5 data structure projects that are good for your portfolio and that will help you learn a lot about data structures and algorithms and they're going to really help you with your job interviews. So let's get started. So we all know that in order to become a software engineer at a very good company, you need to learn a lot of data structures and algorithms because it's a part of the interview process, but not just because it's a part of the interview process. You will actually learn a lot and you will learn the basics, the fundamentals of programming and building software. I'm not saying you'll be using all of these data structures and all these algorithms in your daily life, in your job, but it will definitely come in handy from time to time because it will basically teach you how to solve problems using whatever algorithms there are. And these common algorithms are applied in a lot of situations and a lot of different problems. It's great to learn these and it's great to flex that, you know, it, it'll be easy for you to crack interviews, but also you learn a lot about the fundamentals of computing. So it's always a good thing to learn and by building these kind of projects, it is one of the more fun ways to learn these data structures and algorithms, right? You don't want to spend time just reading algorithm textbooks or doing competitive programming, at least I don't. So I would love to build projects and uh, yeah, these are five projects which will help you learn data structures and algorithms. All right, the first one is build a tiny URL. Build a URL shortener, basically. You know, we have all seen these URLs which start with bit.ly slash or tiny URL slash whatever. So we know that some of sometimes the URLs or the web addresses that you want to search for or that you want to share with someone else, they become too long, right? Imagine having www.google.com slash xyz, you know, there are 100 characters in that URL but you want to make it short. You want to make it very short and very elegant. And to do that, you use a URL shortener. Now, how would you build that URL shortener, right? You basically just, uh, you need to find a way to take a big string and convert it into a short string. And it has to be pretty accurate so that you can also go back and like, you know, you give the short string and get back the whole address. But the most basic one would be a simple hash map of the key and the value where the key can be the shortened URL and the value can be the full URL. So yeah, that's the first one. The next project would be to build a Sudoku solver using backtracking algorithm. So basically Sudoku is a game. I think most of us have played it growing up and I, I kind of liked Sudoku at one point. I was doing it all the time, but as I grew up, I kind of grew out of it, but I know how Sudoku works. So like, you know, in college, I remember there was this uh, where people were making algorithm to solve the Sudoku puzzle and you basically use some sort of backtracking algorithm to uh, just you know f find the answers and find the right numbers to fill in basically and I think it's a good way to it's it's a good way to learn backtracking and it's also kind of, you also learn a lot about Sudoku doing that so yeah that's that's one good way to uh, learn backtracking so that's the second project the next project would be to create a file zipper using greedy huffman coding algorithm basically you know we all use compressors like uh, winzip or winrar or stuff like that i don't know if you did i used a lot of them while playing games because we used to download zip files or you know compress actual files and give it to my friends and stuff so it, it's good to know you know how these zipper work i mean they are very complicated right because they take a huge file and zip it into a very tiny file there are advanced compression algorithms that they use but uh, the huffman coding algorithm is quite simple and it's quite uh, primitive in uh, that does solve this zipping problem so you can create a simple file zipper using uh, Grady Huffman coding and I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out and it's a good, it, it'll be slightly complicated but it'll, it'll give you a lot to learn and it'll definitely be fun. Alright, the next problem is create a map navigator. Basically, uh, you will basically use something like a Google Maps or some API that gives you two or multiple points that you know you have to go from point A to point B, what's the best way to reach there. And to do this, you can use many different techniques. My favorite one is Dijkstra's algorithm. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think Google Maps also uses at least some variation of Dijkstra's algorithm to best uh, to navigate from point A to point B, basically to find like a shortest path. So you can learn Dijkstra's algorithm. It's, it's commonly used, it's not very difficult. And uh, there are variations to it and they can be enhanced and you can just code the simplest Dijkstra's algorithm for minimum uh, like shortest path and uh, the shortest path problem is pretty common and you can definitely learn a lot about it so uh, this is one good project that you can build so coming down to the fifth the last but not the least at least uh, it's my favorite one and this is about react so i love react and i, I know most of us love react and it's just one of those uh, pieces of technology that's been appreciated by the world of uh, developers and it has brought in a lot of non-developers into coding because it's it's good we just like react right so we want to know how react works 
so how uh, basically uh, react is a huge ecosystem but you want to basically learn the fundamentals of react and what react basically does is it compares every node in the virtual dom to every node in the real dom and then finds out what has changed and it will only update that uh, changed uh, node in the dom so there's a lot there's a lot of tree traverses happening you need to find the node in another tree you need to find the same kind of node in another tree this is a very common interview problem and it will help you to learn about uh, depth first search and breadth first search and how you traverse around trees how you find nodes maybe the dom api so try to build like a mini version of react using javascript and it's a lot of fun trust me i've done it it's hard to make it work but in the end you will really learn how react works and uh, basically just just read the documentation of react and i think they've explained how this works so like that gives you a head start but try to build it on your own so that you actually know how it works i'm not saying it it's very important to know react you have to know this but it's good to know and it's definitely going to give you an edge and it's going to make you understand how it it's working internally right so that's always a good thing and it will increase your knowledge as a software engineer so these are the five projects that you should learn I mean to learn data structures and algorithms so yeah thanks for watching